high. This book is very, very good. If I was not in public, I would be violently sobbing right now. If we could run it. Oh, I'm Marley, and it is way too bright in here. Give me a sec. Okay, hi. Hopefully the lighting is a little more bearable, and here is our good friend Duster. I love him so much. I just finished reading Legendborn, and today we are going to be doing a Floodmark reading vlog. If you have not read Legendborn, get off this video, because this will be Legendborn spoilers because I already read it and I'm assuming all of you guys read it if you're watching the Bloodmark reading vlog. So it will not be spoilers for Bloodmark, but I'm giving myself free reign for Legendborn because one, I want to talk about it because I literally just finished reading it yesterday. And two, you need to know stuff from this book to like read this book, you know? And also, like, what are you doing? Like, go read Legendborn. Like, I don't even care. I know YouTube's like, you should get people to sit and watch your videos longer. I don't care about viewer retention. Go read Legendborn if you haven't already. Or if you're still not convinced, go watch my Legendborn reading vlog and then you'll be convinced because this book is, it's amazing. Ah! Five stars. Um, hi, if you've never seen my face before, my name is Marley. Welcome to my channel. Today we're reading Bloodmark. I'm so excited. I literally just finished the prologue and it was already amazing. So, uh, hey, how are y'all doing? Some things about me are, uh, different in this clip. Uh, I have a little heart on my, on my face. I think, uh, my skin might be a little more clear, but mostly my hair. I am in my dorm room at Wellesley now. I am in a different state. That's crazy. Yeah, it's been a bit, but um, I've only read the prologue and I do want to read it. Um, and I think I'm going to go to my friend's room and sit in there and do some reading. Cause like, it's my first day back pretty much. So like, I wanna hang out with friends. The world go I'm on page 85 um, and honestly I gotta say I I think it started off a little bit slow I'm still very invested lots of things happening I think it needs to start slow because there's a lot of groundwork to cover on like kind of logistics of everything so that might be why like you can't just like jump right back into the action I guess uh, there has to be like the this is like the fallout of everything that happened at the end of the book because like a lot happened. Nick is gone, Bree's king. There was a lot of deaths. What's gonna happen with all of that? Like it makes sense, but also like I wanna get I wanna get to the juicy stuff. But I think I think things will happen once Bree has her like little right that makes her uh like acknowledged in front of everyone as the king, which is so slay, but we're not there yet. So hopefully things will pick up. I have some annotations and some bookmarks. While these aren't quite really fluffy moments, um, I have been tabbing moments that I'm like, romantic subtext. Like, I don't know, just like cute little things that like could be extra cute later if, if these ships pan out. Specifically, like, I was a Nick and Brie girly in the beginning of Legendborn, but like, Cell and Brie were giving enemies to lovers realness. Cell was giving second love interest. Second love interests are always so much better. And like, Cell is a very interesting character. And I love Nick and Brie, very, very cute. Nick did have a little bit of a possessiveness to her that was like a little like, I didn't vibe with it very much. She's not the type of person who could be like, <laughs> she's not the type of person who could be possessed when she's literally a medium. Anyways, <laughs> that was actually kind of funny, but she doesn't seem to like want someone who is like trying to trap her per se. And I'm not saying that Nick was trying to trap her, but it was very much like he viewed her as his, like that was a lot of the themes that Tracy was kind of like under laying in the first book. Her and Cell don't have that relationship anyway, so 
I think I like Brie and Selwyn. Hopefully they, we'll see what happens. You know, we'll see what happens. Hello, I am on page 132. I have been getting through this slowly because school, um, but on page 132, and I end it with shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, slash pause, Tracy! Ah! It might have started off a little bit slow, as it needs to be to like, as I said, lay the groundwork. I am, I am fighting the urge to get to the next part. That was all of part one. So part one does start off a little slow, ends, 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 lots of emotions. Ah! And I really want to read part two right now, but I need to eat breakfast and do homework. Sobs. Hello. I want to finish this book as fast as possible because it has you consumed every single waking thought I've had. I'm maybe like 30% in. I'm on page 158 and I was reading it this morning and I just wrote Tracy I am unwell like physically unwell like I had to, I couldn't continue reading because I was like this is I am unwell but I need to finish this book because it has been like literally I cannot focus on my schoolwork. I can't fall asleep because I'm just thinking about them. And I'm like, ah, I want to know what happens. But, oh, goodness gracious. Okay. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Hi. This book is very, very good. If I was not in public, I would be violently sobbing right now. Goodness gracious. Hello. This is Marley. That's Summer Marley. Um... So I read Bloodmarked earlier in the year. I think I finished right before February. Um, but because school was starting, I barely got any more footage of the end of it. But let me tell you, let me tell you, Bloodmarked, it's one of my favorite books. I did a lot of tabbing, like a large amount of tabbing. My emotions, whew, emotions were high. I know the majority of them are very fluffy because same with the first book the romantic subplot was subplotting also tracy caused me a lot of pain a lot of times i was yelling at her yelling at the actions but also made my heart swell classic classic if i didn't say it already this book is a five stars it's five out of five. Oh, something's in my eye there was just something in my eye so if i look like i've been crying oh Ah, there he goes. I had an eyelash. <sighs> Made a little wish. Anyways, five out of five stars. Let me pull up some annotations real quick. I think one of my favorite annotations is on the last page. It's just in all caps. Tracy, that can't be the end because boy oh boy, does this one end on a cliffhanger. I am foaming at the mouth for the next book. It ends at an emotional cliffhanger, not a physical cliffhanger like the Mark of Athena, but I, I, I need the next book. That's about it for me. Uh, drop some book recs down below and I will see you in the next reading vlog, bookish thing, whatever I do on this channel. Um, I love you guys. Peace out, Girl Scout. Bye.